Jen, thank you. We have new overnight details and that breaking news involving four American Olympic athletes who say they were robbed in Brazil Sunday. Now we learn Brazilian police won't let two swimmers leave the country without testifying about the alleged incident. With the latest on all of this, we now go to Rico Bush, who has more on this developing situation. Rico, good morning. Good morning, Katie. Don, this story has really taken a lot of twists and turns. This morning, there are some serious doubts from police in Brazil. Brazilian authorities say two of the swimmers gave different accounts about what happened during that alleged robbery in Rio. Last night, officials pulled Jack Conger and Gunnar Bentz off their plane as they were headed back to the United States. You can see them right here in this video with police. U.S. consulate representatives are with them. Authorities are still seeking answers about how the four swimmers were robbed Sunday morning. Conger, Bentz, and swimmers Jimmy Feigen and Ryan Lochte claim fake police officers held them up at gunpoint after a night out. They say the robbers took money and other personal items. A Brazilian judge says social media images in the swimmer's statements from the scene conflict with their timelines of the incident, and she wants to clear up some confusion about those allegations. Lochte is back in the United States. Officials did not detain Figan. His whereabouts are still unknown, but he is still in Brazil. Coming up in 30 minutes over on Fox 43, I'll dig more into the swimmer's statements and explain why police believe their reports may be false. I'll also show you some surveillance video from the night of that attack. I'm Rico Bush, Tanner Side.